Hi, so you've got an Ori. Well, let's get you in the air with this quick walkthrough. Firstly, antenna installation. The radio requires the two antennas to be installed before operation. They are included in the box and can be screwed onto the top of the radio. Now, order really isn't important. Simply screw both down until they're tight. For best reception, point the antennas 45 degrees towards yourself. The joints on the antennas are easy to find and easy to adjust. Now let's make sure the camera angle is correct. Ori has two camera angle settings. For initial flights, it should be looking front and center at a zero degree angle. If your camera angle isn't straight, set it to zero degrees by clicking it into place. Changing the Ori battery. The Ori battery slides in and out from the bottom of the drone. Simply slide the battery in, as it's shown in the video, until the battery clicks into place. And that's it. Checking your battery is easy. One click, and if it shows green, you're fully charged. If it shows orange, then you're partially charged. Simple as that. All right, let's power on the radio first. This is done by a short click, followed by another click with a long hold until you see the LED is fully lit. Now it's time to power up the Ori. Click the main Ori button so the LED ring lights up. Then hold the button until the green ring is complete. Upon release, the LED will show rainbow colors. In some instances, it may be required to link Ori with the radio. Click and then hold the main button on the Ori until the yellow ring is completely full, then release. The yellow ring will spin, showing Ori is in bind mode, ready for link. Once the Ori is in bind mode, power on the radio by holding the left front button, while clicking and then holding the power button. Once the link is established, you'll be able to see the FPV feed on the screen. Before taking off, the color of the Ori and the radio can be changed by holding the right front button on the radio. The Ori will cycle through its color palette while holding down the button. When released, the Ori and the radio will hold this color. It can be changed at any time. The arm switch starts and stops the props on the Ori. To start and stop the props, put the throttle stick at the bottom, and then short click the arm button, which is in the left trigger position. To stop the props, another short click on the left trigger will disarm the drone. Powering off is just as easy. Short click the main Ori button, followed by holding the main button will power down Ori.